I want to show you in this video how you would use Scholar as part of your uh, preparation for assessment or just as part of your revision through the year. Now Scholar is uh, an interactive program that has been developed by Heriot Watt University and uh, all Highland Council pupils should have their own individual login allowing them to use this site. Now there's loads of good stuff there. Now, when you log in, your screen may well be a bit different to mine because you will have a, a pupil login and I've got a teacher login. Um, it will be similar in that you will be able to see all of the subjects that you are involved um, at and they should be down as, uh, at the correct level as well. I'm just going to look through the National 5 Maths stuff with you and just give you a guide as to how you would use it. Now, you'll see that there are two aspects to the National 5 Maths stuff. There's uh, the course materials and then there's course assessment as well if you want to do some online assessment. If we look at the course materials, you'll see there the whole course broken down into topic um, sections. Now, if you click on a particular topic, that'll give you an idea as to what is uh, contained within each topic. Um, if we look at arts and sectors there, the topic is broken down into um, all the component parts. You'll see, as well as that, at the very end, you'll see a learning points uh, link, which summarizes the topic and the, all the main points that are to be found there. And also there's an end of topic test. Um, now your teacher might ask you to do the end of topic test and your scores will be recorded there. But you wouldn't do that until you were familiar with the topic first. So if we just click on learning points, just whilst we're talking about that, you can see there that there's a summary of the main kind of things that they are going to be uh, looking for um, within the course when you're talking about that topic there. Now, whilst we're in here, it's good to maybe talk about navigating. I prefer to just use um, what's along the top, and this tells me the, the route I've taken to get to this particular uh, page. So I can just go back and click on Arts and Sectors and I can go back and look at what else is there. Now, within each section, within a topic, you'll see that there are practice exercises, or maybe there are um, some interactive uh, kind of teaching going on as well. If you click on any of these, you'll see that um, very often the assessments are um, they're quite clear and they kind of build up towards uh, the end of topic assessments. Um, in the, these are the kind of practice assessments, but if we go to the, let me just check and see, if we go to the, the end of section exercises, you'll see there that if you're not, not sure of what to do, you can reveal so if we do the end of end of uh, the area of a sector exercise, if you're not sure of what to do with um, how to answer a question, if you click on steps, that will actually break the question down for you. And you're told what to do to kind of help you get started. So it does support you as you go through the assessments. It doesn't just give you the questions and leave you there. So there are there's lots of practice to be done. There's lots of scope for um, improving and uh, extending your knowledge within topics. So these assessments, as I said, they might be set by your teacher and your teacher will be able to see how long you took um, doing the assessment. They'll be able to see where you are needing to work and you'll be able to see that as well. If I go back to um, the National 5 Maths bit just by using the navigation bar along the top, um, you can also see that um, Every Thursday, there is somebody available um, to answer any questions you might have. Uh, at the moment, it's every Thursday between 7 and 8. So if you have any questions, there's a, a tutor there who is ready and on hand to answer any questions you might have. Um, within the other section, uh, let me just go back. Um, so National 5 Maths. Towards the bottom, um, there's an assessment section as well. So if we click on course assessments, you can see there that there are four practice assessments. Now, the content for these assessments may well not match up with your school's um, unit one, two, and three assessments. So that's just worth bearing in mind. 
Um, the learning points gives you a summary of what's going to be covered within that assessment. So if you click on that, it should hopefully open up and it gives you um, a kind of a summary of all the stuff you should know for that particular assessment. Um, I don't know if there's other stuff as well, maybe not. Um, and then you can uh, go and do the questions and you can uh, work on these. And it's just, okay, oh well. The tests should be up and running, um, so there should be plenty of scope for doing some practice. Let's try another one. Um, so if we click on assessment practice, do assessment practice three. And at the moment they're under development, but by the time you guys are studying for your assessments, hopefully all of that will be sorted. So it's a really good um, uh, place to go if you're looking to, to improve. And as I said, if you have any questions about anything in particular, you can always post the question for the, the tutor. And you can do that from within the topic sections as well. So if I, for example, was doing similarity, and if I was having trouble, let's say, with um, volume of scale factors, and let's say I was reading through all the notes, and I was seeing all the worked examples there, if I had a question on that, I could just click and ask a question, and I would get that answered pretty quickly. Okay, so there's loads of loads of stuff there. So make sure that if you are, say, absent, uh, or maybe you just don't get a good understanding of a topic, that you go and look at the relevant section within Scholar, and it will give you um, an overview of what's involved. Okay, so use it, because it's there to be used. And uh, I hope that that kind of explains how to navigate the site. And if you do have any questions about um, the site or how to use it, you can always approach Scholar themselves as well, and I'm sure they would um, help you out. Okay.